All right, so today we're going to be talking about Halloween H2O. 20 years later. I think I should just go on with it and just just round with it. Call it uh, just Halloween 20. Just to fuck with people. <laughs> just like, just a complete fuck with people. Like, wait, what? Hello, what do you mean Halloween 20? Is this the 20th one? Oh my God, it's the 20th one. We have not seen... Uh, six to nineteen becomes like the Back to the Future reference, where it's just like they do all, all, all the uh, what, yeah, what happens to Michael Myers? Uh, <laughs> Michael Myers is now a diver. Michael Myers is now a doctor for some reason. Michael Myers is now a baby. I don't know just, what 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 the movies for some reason transformed into a baby. Come on, it's got to be. It's got to be a horror movie somewhere. Someone, someone's done it where they're just like, "Hey, uh, the villain is now a baby." Um, all right, enough of me rambling. So yeah, this film does basically ignores uh, obviously three because they all do because you know it's its own universe. Four, five, and six. So yeah, we pick it up with. Oh no, the brain is gone. Oh my god. All right, so this film picks up with Laurie Strode 20 years later. Um, because it does. Uh, now, so it's not really established why it's 20 years later. The only thing that's really established is the fact that uh, Laurie's son, uh, John Tate. John Tate. Oh, yeah, because uh, she's called Carrie Tate in this because she's. Uh, yeah, I'm pretending to be dead uh, under a new identity. Um, that her son is now uh, seventeen. You know, the same age he she was in like the uh, first film. Uh, what? Why? Why is why is he waited that long? What? Uh, like, what was Jason up to in this time? Jason Michael Myers. Honestly, they kind of blend together in my head. Jason and Michael Myers, they're very, 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 very similar slasher characters. Yeah, these these non-talking slasher guys. Um, but yeah, so he's he's just uh, been up to up to no good all this time. And by up to no good, I mean not doing it a whole lot, other than c killing uh, Jason Gordon Levitt. Um, yeah, there's like a family basically at the start of the film that uh, they, Michael kills, which is uh, part of the um, Dr. Loomis had a nurse who he lived with. I'm not sure established that she took over his house or what, but um, basically he just ends up ends up killing them because because Michael Myers does what the fuck he wants and also I guess they kind of wanted to open with some deaths you, yeah your hot classic horror movie um, yeah we're not going to end uh, start with some talking we're going to start off with some murder alright now some talky now some talky moments uh, yeah Dr. Do Dr. Loomis is no longer with us obvious reasons um, they didn't recast him well they kind of did uh, Tom Kane plays uh, Dr. Loomis now just for by like a voiceover, um, which is 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 a good way of doing it. I don't, it's one of those things where I'm like, okay, fair enough. It it kind of makes sense. I, yeah, it kind of just gives you a recap of what happened. If you yeah, you know, obviously this film is twenty years later, so maybe yeah, you know, people watch one or two, you know, the first two, and we're like, yeah, that's enough. Hmm. Not like any of these Halloween films. Uh, but yeah, so so it starts with that. Um, you now she, uh, Laurie, basically works at a school. Um, I think she works at a school, and they're going on like some summer, summer vacation. Um, but then they haven't left. They they're basically dumbass kids doing what they want, doing drugs, having sex. You know, classic teenage things in a horror movie. Um, they're not really doing drugs, just you know off off doing their own thing and by doing their own thing they're probably drinking and definitely having sex um 
That's what teenagers do. Uh, oh, she's a headmistress. Okay. That makes sense. Uh, honestly, I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah. I was drinking at the time, so to be fair. What ups? Um, yeah, she basically ends up realizing that Michael's still alive and then goes, oh, my son is 17. Why well, I was 17. So Michael's back for some reason. Yeah, it's, it's one of these things where I'm like, I do want more explanation to horror films. And it, it may be my 20th century brain now of just like, I kind of expect things to be explained in movies now. Like, because I feel like writers generally nowadays fucking explain things. Whereas a lot of horror movies are just like, yeah, things happen. All right, moving on. Uh, but yeah, uh, Laurie basically tries to protect her, her son. Uh, yeah, so she protects her son. Uh, chaos ensues. Pretty much everyone else dies, except for her son's um, girlfriend. And then they get a clash. They get a clash. Lots of clashes. Michael ends up. Uh, she basically like lets those guys, get, yeah, the the son and um, girlfriend off. And then basically has a badass fucking way of just yeah you know, going straight after fucking Michael, which, to be clear. It's probably one of the best things about this movie is the f Laurie just going the fuck after Michael. That is badass as fuck. That that is that's some badass shit. Let's be honest, that is some good stuff. Um, and yeah, they ended up in the clash. Blah 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 blah. blah. Skippy skippy skippy. Um, ends up that Michael basically pinned between like a tree and a car, and then Laurie cuts her cuts his head off, and that's the end of Michael. Um, that's totally the end of Michael, and there's there's totally not any other film. What? Who? Um, yeah. So as far as this movie is concerned, that is the end of Michael. Uh, we'll get to how that's changed in the next film um, later. But uh, yeah. So that's that's the end of the film. Honestly, yeah. Laurie going after him. It's pretty badass. The movie's a bit slow. I think there's not enough. Maybe there's not enough people for Michael to kill. Maybe we should have killed, like, the entire classroom or something. I don't know. It's fucking Michael going fucking nuts. Uh, but, uh, yeah, it's one of these things. It's, it's, it's a good one. Like, it's, it's good. It's one of those, I'm like, this is good. It fit, yeah, it fits with Halloween. To me, I'm just like, okay, th this one's good. This, this one, this one. This one is good. I like this one. Um, yeah, I don't really have like, yeah, other than it'd be a bit, bit slow at parts, some more. I don't give a shit about the teenagers, which, let's be honest, that's most most horror films where I'm like, ah, teenagers again, you say? Yeah. I think that's the only problem with sometimes horror films where I'm like, ah, it's teenagers. I don't give a shit about any of these fucking fools. <laughs> I, feel like, I feel like horror films need to get me more invested in characters because I actually care if they get fucking killed. Um, too much teenagers and I'm like, whatever, kill them, go for it. Uh, that's not a good attitude to have. <laughs> um, yeah, like I said, I think this one's this one's good. Like, I, I don't really have any big. I was look, looking up some of the credits of people on this, but yeah, I don't really have any uh, like real big ne negatives about it. Uh, oh, I love the little. Um, little like mini plot in this with uh, because LL Cool J plays like a, a security guard and he just generally calls his uh, wife on the phone a lot to discuss his the novel he's writing and then she kind of seems to be treating it more like you know the so a, so a soap kind of thing where she's just like yeah you know, constantly like oh and these characters are yeah you know, these characters is going this character are they gonna believe each other like yeah. You know, but she she's like it's a good story it's a good story keep going keep going uh to be fair that that is one of my favorite parts as well about the film uh, i weirdly i weirdly like that that relationship um it's a bit sad for him to die his character was cool uh, uh yeah he did die didn't he yeah i was like did he yeah 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. um yeah honestly i didn't know much 
about this film going in? Other than, it, you know, other than ignoring 4, 5, and 6 and being its own thing. Because obviously Laurie's still alive in this one. Whereas she was basically uh, dead by in you know, at the start of 4. Um, and it was a daughter instead. Um, yeah, it's time she has a son. Uh, but yeah, honestly, it's it's really good. It feels 90s as fuck. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm a 90s... I was a 90s kid, so I don't mind it. Um, but honestly, I, I like... I think it's I think it's one of them, one of the stronger Halloween films. Um there wasn't yeah, you know, obviously like some characters I'm like eh. Um I felt uh, when I was like, oh well, at the start of the film where I'm like, oh these are a bunch of characters. I have no idea who these are. Oh, they're gonna die. Though then again I, I did I was like, oh it's Joseph Gordon Levitt. Okay, he's he's gonna survive. But then I looked at the looked to the poster and was like Oh no, he's not. He's not on the poster. <laughs> he's he is gonna die. Boy is gonna die. Uh, yeah. Um, Laurie's like a bit more of an overprotective parent. Of, obviously, in Halloween, you'd expect her to be. She's got some fucking trauma to deal with. <laughs> you know. Um, but yeah, it's, it's. I don't really see any like characters in this one. I'm like, oh, those are that's a terrible character. Or that's a bad character. Yeah, there's no one I was like sometimes in horror films where I'm like, kill, 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 kill. Or I'm like, oh, that, ca- that character needs to die, which is good. Some characters I'm like, eh, eh. I don't care for them. But oh, did, did, did oh, Cordy's character die? I think he might have survived. I could be wrong. Whatever, it's fine. Um, yeah, anyway, like I said. I'd highly recommend it if you haven't, but I, yeah, I kind of generally get to very spoilery with these reviews. But overall, yeah, it's it's one of the best ones. I don't know if, uh, how I'd rate it in my head of the films I've seen so far. Um, I to remember when you look at these some of these covers. I'm like, <sighs> yeah, they're all they're big ass pictures of fucking Michael, so it doesn't really help help jog my memory. Um, yeah, I mean it's better than six, which is not saying much. Um, it's better than three because three is this weird thing so I'm like I, I, it definitely stands toe to toe one and one and two um, I'm not sure I, I, it's been, a, it's been a, a little bit since I watched uh, uh, four and five so I'm not I'm not like where do those sit in my rankings because I, I definitely like is it four Four? Yeah, four was, uh, was pretty cool. Um, but they they kind of went away from where I was I was hoping they went in five. So maybe I'll, maybe I'll put it. Yeah, I put this move. Yeah, seven around around four. I say four is the the best one of four, five, and six. Um, I think four is the strongest from what I remember. Uh, but yeah, that's enough of me rambling. Um, I need to then do do a review for <laughs> this film. <laughs> That's going to be fun. Tune in next week for that one. 